Whenever Windows crashes, it usually leaves behind a log file that you can examine using WinDBG. Uh, this program is free, and you can get it from the internet by just downloading it um, from uh, Microsoft. If you Google WinDBG, it should come up. Just download and install, open it up. The first thing you're going to do is set this uh, symbol path here. I'll put this in the description, but you're just going to paste this in. This is just regular text. You can edit it as needed. And hit cancel on that. And to open it up, you're going to go to Open Crash Dump. And it's usually stored under C in Windows. We'll go down here, and there it is. It's the only file that it sees in here. So, crash dump files, that seems good. Okay, so it's going to take a bit to examine. So, this is the driver file. I would just take this, copy it into Google, and find out what the issue is. If I needed more information, I could click Analyze V. It'll take a few seconds and go through everything and give me lots more details. Uh, you can post this on forums if you're not finding a solution by just updating the driver. Uh, speaking of, let's go ahead and get the driver situation figured out. That's going to be right-clicking computer and go to manage. And here's the device manager. This is actually your list of components installed on the computer and all of their associated drivers, which you can update here using Microsoft Windows Update, or you can just uninstall it and then reinstall using a manufacturer's driver that you can get from their website. But point being, uh, you're going to use a combination of Google and WinDBG to figure out what is causing the crash. Hope you all found this informative, and I'd like to thank you for watching.